Hi everyone, it's meteorologist Joe Chaffee on this Saturday. I, I took a little bit of R&R &R on uh, Friday, so uh, let's uh, catch up on what's going on. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I think we're going to see a pretty solid rain event. I'm going to focus this video pretty much on the upcoming rain, and then later today, I'll do, when I see all the afternoon models, we'll, I'll do something with the long range. But uh, here's a, the a, a rain event that's setting up for Tuesday through Thursday. And what I'm showing you here is the forecast rainfall amounts on the Canadian model. Uh, and I'll show you the GFS in a second. But this is now through Friday morning. And you can see in the purplish area, so we're talking three and a half, four inches uh, and even greater uh, from uh, Alabama, Mississippi and Alabama, northwestern Georgia, on up through the western Carolinas, the western parts of Virginia, and then moving northeast from there into all of southeastern Pennsylvania, uh, New Jersey, uh, New York, Long Island, and southern New England. So this is a very big, substantial rainfall that we're going to see here um, if this plays out. And all three models have it, and, and all three models are pretty much the same. So I'm hoping that what happens is that if, if we're so much as just in line with uh, what models are doing, uh, then we'll wind up getting this rainfall, which is really so desperately needed. And I'll show you now the, uh, the GFS rain, and I'll uh, take it out from there. These are, uh, this is a total accumulated rainfall uh, uh, through each day. So it just adds up one to, uh, after the other. And since this is pretty much a clean rain event, that is, there isn't much of anything going on between now and Monday night. This is all from the rain generated Tuesday through Thursday. And you can see the GFS, not that much different. Uh, with the, the idea of two to four inch rainfalls. Maybe it has a little bit less uh, down uh, in, in the southeast, but it's still substantial. I think it also has a little bit more on the eastern flank because it brings a wave up closer to the coast. And I can't show you the European, but the European is pretty much the same. Uh, show you on the surface map what's, what, what this all looks like. And at least from the standpoint of the models, uh, the idea is there's probably going to be three areas of rain, rain certainly two uh, the gfs kind of makes a distinction and has a second one in the middle it could very easily be part of the second the third wave and you know just kind of breaks out ahead of it but this is the first one for tuesday comes in during the afternoon into tuesday night uh overnight and then gone by wednesday morning so we'll catch a break and then you notice that there's more rain that breaks out by wednesday evening we've got rain up and down the coast again and there's an area that's going to sort of break off and go northeastward. So there's kind of the implication that there might be a bit of a break here into Thursday morning. And then this third wave moves up the coast and intensifies. And actually, the thing about the GFS run today was that this wave is a little further east. So I want to be a little careful here um, if it winds up being um, even further east and we have more of a northeast wind. That's certainly going to impact temperatures. And by the way, it does want to generate maybe some snows in the elevations in West Virginia, but there really isn't a whole lot of cold air. It's all back up to the north. And then that wave goes by and it's done. So uh, we're going to take a look at what the upper air looks like so that you can get a flavor for this. And, and what's happening is we have a, a, a deep upper air storm out to the west. And you can see it right here. Let me just get, uh, there you go. Okay, so you can see it here. Yeah. And it's pretty intense, right? Right there. And here in the east, we've got a ridge, and we're looking at Monday evening. So we're protected and dry. The thing about these ridges, by the way, and they're going to happen in between troughs as, tr as weather systems are moving from west to east. This is different <clears throat> from the ridges that we've been seeing uh, pretty much all through the fall, in that those ridges just build up and they seem to be semi permanent and last for. Um, weeks at a time. This is transitory until uh, the weather system from the west translates eastward. And what happens is, as we move it along, there are ro rotating waves of energy here. Here's one, here's another. Um, each one, each spoke rotates around. And as each one rotates around, the upper air system progresses further and further east. So we've got that first spoke that's coming through on Tuesday and you can see it here going up and around and now here comes the second energy and there's also it's hard to pick out you know when you see these indentations 
in, in the flow, those are little what we call shortwave troughs. Okay, and these are little, you can look at them as being little waves of energy. There's one there, there's one here, here's the lead one. So these are kind of like spokes on a bicycle wheel. And by the way, you notice how the ridge now uh, over the next 24 hours progresses out offshore. This is different, as I said, than what we were uh, experiencing uh, weeks ago. And then what happens is the whole upper air system translates eastward. And, and, and you can see there's another spoke here that rotates around. This is Thursday evening. This is kind of, um, you know, sort of wobbling and, and rotating at the same time. But, you know, that's the last wave that's that's on there. And, you know, behind it is a shot of, of colder air that comes in um, for Friday and next week. And, and you see that just pretty much moves along so you know I, I think based on what I'm looking at uh, in terms of all the models uh, the rain looks to me like it's going to be a, a pretty good bet here um, and I'm hoping that for all areas that that need it badly that they get at least something decent out of this and having that all three models are showing the same thing I think that's a very good sign I, I want to just look real quick uh, just to give you some attention to what's going on elsewhere in the country this coming week and you know, it's all being dominated by this one storm that goes up into the northern plains. We do have some uh, rain and snow that comes into the uh, northwestern part of the country. You can see it here into the northern Rockies and then just kind of disappears over time. And then we have another system moving into the Pacific Northwest later this week, but doesn't really look all that impressive. And you can see the action uh, here in the eastern states, which um, I'm really got my fingers crossed on this. Now, late in the period, we do have something going on in texas and new mexico some kind of low pressure there and i think when we get into the long range when i do that a little bit later on um we will um tackle that particular subject and not to leave our friends in the canadian maritime provinces out because i like to include you guys um as i remember yesterday there was going to be some snow up in some places and Actually, yes, because we have this low that's developing off the New England coast now, uh, intensifies and goes uh, just east of Nova Scotia. So some snow develops over Newfoundland because there's some colder air wedged in with this high to the north. And then it changes over to rain while it changes back to snow on the western side over parts of Nova Scotia. And then the low just kind of meanders there uh, as we move into next week. And then the next weather system approaches, which is going to be another snow snow to rain event although it does produce some substantial snows over newfoundland and there might be some pretty good wind with this too um, this is one of the, the last wave that comes up the coast um, for thursday uh, and friday and then that lifts out to the northeast and then looks like it's cold with snow showers after that going into next weekend but you know what we'll talk more about this when well, I do my long range video later today. So have a great day. Uh, more, you, uh, you, can, you can see more on meteorologistjoechaffee.com, weatherlongisland.com, and uh, nycweathernow.com.